been a very, very slow day for weeks. Well, here we go about the box office. So, it isn't the box office. This is basically like one big movie, and then there's all the peon movies. Okay, you know those eight. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the top seven movies. Yeah, there's really only seven movies to talk about. We could also talk about Spider Man as well. But, you know, it's not really interesting about talking about Spider Man, but we're going to talk about Spider Man on Tuesday, though. But, you know, because that's when the Blu ray is finally coming out. Yep, Spider Man's Blu ray is finally coming out on Tuesday. For those who like No Way Home or those who don't go to feeders, either wait for streaming or Blu ray releases, I'm one of those people who wait for the. Blu-ray, uh, going to the feeders is a very, very expensive thing where I have, so, yeah. You know, number one is Sonic 2. Okay, which well, despite all of the quote-unquote protect, put, put Zexans for this movie, saying this movie would open a 50 million. Yeah, they were saying this movie would open a 50 million, then they revised it to 60 million. Okay, then they revised it to 67 million. To 69 million. And now it beat out even those projections and made 31 million. I said that it's very likely this movie would open over 70 million, and it did. 31 million and 70 million internationally. We. So we means that this movie will do well. Okay. And oh, the fans love this movie. People love this movie. Okay. Mo, that's INDB scores higher than the first. Okay. The audience scores are on the same. Same thing with the Metacritic audience score as the first. So most of the people who like Sonic 2, who like Sonic and like the first one, okay? Most of the same people are returning. More new Sonic fans are coming. New fans are coming, which is a good... Which, typically, sequels do worse. Okay, that's what they say. Oh, but sequels do worse. But this movie did better than the first one. Okay? Because, of course, there are tons of people who first seen it on streaming services, you know, or on Blu-ray, or on other sources, obviously. And even they went to say, you know what, let's dip and watch Sonic Hedgehog. And this movie also was helped by the fact that there was no family movies, basically, in the theaters for a mo- for months, basically. And making Sing 2 the only movie is an option. Fantastic Beats is also coming out, but I think, I mean, I think that movie is going to underperform. Quote unquote, even though it is very, very obvious that people don't like they like the last one. Even the box office projectors are saying only 50 million, so but Sog 2 actually increased on its Tuesday, according to decline on Sunday, but it increased on its second weekend. Okay. Usually, you see, if a movie increases on a second weekend, you know the movie's gonna do well. Okay, you know the movie's gonna do well if it increases on the second weekend. And heck, the numbers could even be higher. Yeah. Okay. When they're done with the numbers, so Sonic is gonna be a seventy million dollar opener. Okay, and I always thought this movie was gonna open like seventy million, seventy two million, seventy one million. I thought this movie was going to overperform the quote-unquote expectations. And, you know... You know, you have all these quote-unquote box office gurus saying, you know... Their expectations for the movies, okay? They put out these expectations, okay? But then they get sucked when the movies overperform their expectations... Of how a movie will perform, okay? Okay, I think Uncharted overperformed their expectations... And it seems that we're going to have another success for Paramount. Okay. But I would really, really wish they would give more love to the home releases instead of just saying, you know, just watch Paramount Plus. But the few echo releases have been doing really well. Okay. The only, the only problem is they've been over, of course, all the successes have been franchise movies. Of course, the one non franchise movie, which did do well domestically, isn't only doing too well internationally, and that's called The Watch City. So, yeah. Next, now we're going to go down to the doctors and talk about Morbius. Yeah, no, this movie's doing a biz movie, okay? It's doing Dark Phoenix numbers, basically, okay? Which means this movie will probably make $70 million at max domestically and probably around $80 million, which means this movie should barely break even at the box office, okay? 
It'll probably make at least 140 million next weekend, and 150 million the week after, and then probably top out like 160 million, which means this movie should barely break even. Which means this is basically the Dark Phoenix of 2022. Okay, no one likes it. No, no one has any interest in watching it. Okay, and Morbius is just another box office failure. Okay, yeah, Fantastic Beasts coming out, which again, is not really that big of a movie as it used to be when the first one came out. But there's also the bad guys, the Northmen, Doctor Strange, okay. And this movie sells the box office will go down further and further and further. That's why they sort of just released this in January and not delayed it. The movie would have done better if it did it if it came out in January, because there were basically no movies. So this movie would have had not any competition for a couple weeks. Okay. But yep. Poor release date timing is another reason why movies flop, okay? Especially during the summer box office where you have the big, big guys and you have the other movies, you know, the other, the mid-tier movies trying, just completely dropping off the sales. And this is going to be basically like the summer box office because it's always time you have a big movie come out every week, okay? Of course, you have a week between the bad guys, the Northmen, and of course, Doctor Strange, but... Basically, you have, you have this movie that's going to be a box office failure. Okay. So, yeah. New Marvel Resident arrives. More like a new Marvel flop arrives. Okay. So. Morbius is just another character that, you know, we didn't need a movie of. So, you know. Kind of like Jean Grey. Okay. Nobody likes Jean Grey. Okay. Outside people who like a boot. So. Next is The Wash City. Yep. This movie is still not doing too well internationally. Okay, this is a big problem because this movie has a $70 million budget. This movie needs international sales. Okay, this is why non-franchise movies flop because they don't get international sales. Because even if they do well domestically, they need those international sales. They need those sales from other countries to make money. Okay, and they are finally releasing this internationally. I don't know why it took them so long to release this movie internationally. It's like, why? Are you waiting this long to release a movie internationally? Okay, Sonic came out first. Morbius came out before this movie internationally. And even Ambulance was also a box office failure. So. So yeah, Lost City. And they hope it. I hope it does change this blockbusters. Because. Well, too reliant on big Marvel movies or big franchise movies, basically. And, you know, that movies do not need to have, to have a sequel to make hundreds of millions of dollars, okay? To make to make hundreds of millions of dollars worldwide. Again, this, isn't, this is probably not going to be the movie that will do this. Because, of course, it's not really doing too well internationally. Here. You know? It did beat the quote unquote expectations, but the movie is not doing too well internationally. It only made $7 million outside of America, so it's not really doing too well outside of America. So that means this movie is probably going to be a box office failure. So, yes, even though this movie made money in America, this movie is still a box office failure because it can't, just like Clifford, make money internationally. So, yeah. Next is Ambulance. This is basically Michael Bay's next failure. Yeah, this is a Michael Bay movie. There wasn't really much, not, not many people really know this movie exists, okay? And, you know, it also has Michael Bay attached to it, which is going to deter some people, because a lot of people hate Michael Bay for his Transformers movies. This movie has good reviews, but it has Michael Bay in it, which, people got, which is going to turn off a lot of people. And, you know... It, having him attached to it, you know, is basically box office poison at this point. Okay, it might be, it's probably going to become a cult classic movie, I think, at the very least. Okay. And, yeah, that's basically about Ambulance. Next, The Batman. Okay, The Batman passed Suicide Squad worldwide, which is pretty good for The Batman. But, you know, this movie is basically uh, getting done with its box office haul. It is getting done with its box office haul, and you know this movie is probably gonna. It's not gonna make the billion dollars it needs to. You know, people are hoping for, but yeah.
Next is Everything Everywhere at Once. Okay. Yeah, this movie... Not really doing too well. Uh, it's a... Original movie? Non-franchise movie? It's doing okay? The, the, the budget is unknown, so... Next is Uncharted. Yeah, this movie's still here. It's gonna, it's making it basically arena numbers. Okay, the movie's doing it, but the movie might not do better worldwide than arena because it didn't release in China. Again, Hollywood is really gonna realize that they're gonna have to make money without China. Okay, they're gonna have to make because they're doing a biz movie in China. Okay, they're doing a biz movie in China, so. But they're gonna have to warn to make money without China. So, you know. This is gonna probably be a less billion dollar grossing movie. And I think the Disney, the company that's gonna suffer the most is Disney, of course, because Disney will, because Marvel has been relying on China for the massive box of its halls. Okay, Captain Marvel will have not made a billion dollars if it didn't make two hundred million dollars in China. Okay, Captain Marvel would not will have not passed a billion dollars. Okay, for sure. Okay, Endgame made six hundred million dollars in China, which means it will barely out Pete be out if any war. If it didn't release in China. Okay. And say if it filed from home. If it were not made 1.1 billion if it didn't, you know, release in China, of course. And, you know, it's the same thing with Aquaman. It's the same thing with a lot of these other big movies. Aladdin, The Lion King, Aladdin. Probably not The Lion King remake because, of course, you have those. People who went to go see the Lion King because they grew up in the 90s and they acted the 90s as the greatest era of all time and they saw a soulless remake because they grew up with it, which is stupid and doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But you do you, whatever you do, you, but yeah. Also, there's some more movies like you know, Jujuju Kaisen, so you know, 25th anniversary, Spider Man, and uh, how Sing 2 dropped massively because Sonic released. And that's basically about this video. Goodbye.